we get up in the morning after we drop kids off of school and day consists of maybe dropping by the office, the real estate office, checking on, um, you know, maybe clients that we either have properties under contract or we have them for sale, you know, getting some updates, sending paperwork off to various agents and so forth, and then going to check on our properties. It may be coordinating the cleaners for our Airbnbs or coordinating the subcontractors for repairs or improvements on our property. So we start and we don't stop until, you know, probably sometimes seven o'clock at night. You know, late is maybe been at nine o'clock, but typically, you know, we're, we're running 12 hours a day. What I love most about the business of real estate is interacting and helping people maybe purchase their first home or the big or help them per, or, or invest in the biggest thing they might have ever invested in their life. So if it, if it was a first time home buyer or um, it's an investor and and um, you know they, they're needing my help, my assistance, that's that's the highlight of my my um, my job that I love to do is helping people see that the value they have in real estate. It doesn't get any better than that. Right. Kitchen basically, um, <clears throat> we're just going to replace some of the appliances that are defective, repair the drawers, uh, put a new water fixture on. We just installed some windows and clean it up and get it ready for um, new tenants to come in. Um, <clears throat> the door, the floors right here, we'll probably end up replacing these floors right here in this section as well. See, it's all cracked, so we'll do that. Uh, sheet rock here for the bathroom that we're gonna finish renovating. And then there's just some additional uh, materials for the um, bathroom. Shower walls, vanity, and then light fixtures and all that good stuff. The rent's going up so much. At one time, these houses used to rent for four and five hundred dollars a month. Now, they run anywhere between 750 and 900 for this neighborhood. Real estate has just shot up in the past few years. So we got sales and rentals. That's about almost double. In some cases they have, depending on where you're at. Hmm. Certain neighborhoods. So you see an influx of people from out of town moving into Tumblesville? Yeah, Tumblesville, we've had people from all over the country. Um, so California, New York, South Florida, um, Tampa, Miami. Those are just some of the major cities. We got them coming from smaller areas, um, you know, such as um, talk, talk with a, comp, um, a family that come from, um, let's see, I think it was Illinois, um, Kansas City. So various reasons because of the pandemic, sometimes um, there are a few things such as um, some companies are making some transitions to South Georgia. So people looking for homes. So because of the demand in homes, we now have a shortage of homes. So, wow. so you see the population grow here in Tunnel? Yeah, yeah, we have. Yeah, and, and um, you know the before the pandemic, we we never got a chance to get caught up with housing since the 2008 crash. So housing market has um, been been underserved for quite a while. It's just the pandemic stirred things up and it went crazy. And then the demand just went off the charts. That's why the interest rates were higher so that they could calm down the, the, the inflation that's about to spur out of control. So, so that's the reason why interest rates are up. So and materials and everything up so we can't really get a good deal on homes anymore. Gas yeah, is going up and yeah. things are better. Yeah, yep, gas going up. I was trying to ease off a little bit, but everything's more expensive and Ooh. that's that's the new, yep. Food, everything. Insurance, taxes, is the new norm. Um well they might not know that um for years in my twenties, um did a lot of cardio competitions. We, we built stereo systems in cars and competed. 
So if you didn't grow up with me in that era, then you might not have known that. And, and that spurred off to doing home theater installations and stuff like that for a little period of time before I got into real estate. Um, other than that, I love the work. Of course, I think everybody knows that about me. <laughs> so that's about the only thing I can really think of.